my state, Victoria, is about to pass birth certificate laws where you don't even need gender reassignment surgery. You don't need proof of nothing. You can just go in and change your gender like you're changing a pair of pants. It means nothing, which is, of course, what the globalists want. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm angry, but I'm also really downtrodden today, and I'm just really upset. I see the craziness. I see every social construct and every tradition we've had in Western society crumbling. And to be honest, I feel like Polly after the fourth industrial revolution video. I'm just really upset and and really down. Now, for those of you who have got a brain, my subscribers, of course, and for those of you who have seen some of my early videos, this is not about rights. This is not about people feeling better or more comfortable or whatever. This is about turning everybody into a robot, automaton, binary code, making lack of gender identity cool. So if everyone is an it or a they or a z or whatever the fuck you want to call it, if they're not truly human and they don't have a truly a gender identity and they can flip-flop and change, then it's easier for the globalists to take human rights away from it, isn't it? Wake the fuck up, people. It's also about inducing suicides and encouraging suicides and everything like that. Because, as you know, with the statistics, 55%, over half of people who consider themselves transgender commit suicide. You know why? It's not just because people say, oh, it's because they're confused about the gender or the ridicule they get from people or whatever. It's a load of shit. It's about the fact that the underlying mental illnesses that they have, I'm not talking before you start attacking me on always just saying transgender is a mental illness. It's the underlying mental illnesses that they may have split personality disorder or whatever, which is not being treated by the globalist doctors, and they just say, oh, it's transgender, here you go, take some hormone pills and undergo the surgery or whatever. It's the other disorders that they may have that are not being treated. Then they begin the transitioning phase, then they realise that they made a mistake, and by the time they realise that, they can't turn back. And what's happened? They're so disillusioned, they kill themselves. That's the real fucking story. That's the real story. But the globalists don't want to tell you that, do they? They've created this craze on purpose so they can employ their Agenda 21 plan and employ their Agenda 30 plan and be well on their way to doing what they want to do. Reduce the population to 500 million. Between that and between one in less than 40 now having autism, all the deaths and suicides and everything else, and the vaccines, they may not even need to employ the bloody bioweapons to achieve their goal and the race weapons that we all know that they're developing at the moment. As I was telling you, my state is about to pass a law to make gender identity obsolete. It's not just changing your agenda to male, female, intersex, or whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. You can change it to Jedi, you can change it to cat, you can change it to dog. There's no fucking limits. This will make an absolute haven for rapists and pedophiles that can just take themselves into women's toilets and sexually assault women and little girls. What happens now? You're a man, you get charged with a serious crime, you can just go up in front of the judge and you can just say to the judge, oh, my name's Jill, even though I'm a man and I weigh 300 pounds. What happens then? You get taken to a, a women's prison and you 
rape and sexually assault women, of course. It's not only an absolute disgrace and a mockery of traditional Western values and Judeo-Christian values, it's fucking dangerous. It's dangerous. I don't want little girls going in the toilets and being frightened and over-sexualised and seeing penises in there. I don't. I don't. Now, I'm sorry. Polly, apart from a couple of videos, can be a cool, calm assassin in do these videos in the beautiful feminine voice that she's got and be really calm. I can't be calm about this shit. This left-wing government is destroying my state. I can't be calm. It's just crazy. My state's like California. I'm behind enemy lines here. I don't even know whether Canada's done something as crazy as this or my state government's gone further left-wing than the fucking Liberals in Trudeau in Canada. It's crazy. Of course, you know what this is also really about, don't you? It's about destroying women, hurting women, and destroying the family construct because anyone who knows the real facts about life is women are the life force. Women are the essence. They give birth to children and they also impart the, are the main purveyors of a child's values as they're growing up. If the globalists can marginalise women and make them feel in danger and make them feel scared to have children, then the population is destroyed, which is what the globalists want. What's next? I mean, how far are we going to go? Are they going to say, oh, transgender rights isn't enough? Gay rights isn't enough? The Muslims and everyone else, are they going to go, oh, we want polygamy? I want the right to marry four wives. Left-wing government, they're not going to stop until they destroy every single Western value this country's got, are they? Certainly not my state. My state's as fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs as California is. After these laws pass, wait, you watch the rapes go up. You watch the sexual assaults go up. You watch the suicides go up because it's going to be more and free and easy for people to change their gender. It's like, you know, changing their fucking bank account. You wait. All they care about, all these leftist governments care about is globalist destruction and decay. And me sitting here doing videos isn't good enough anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm disabled. I've got limitations, but I have to do more than what I'm doing at the moment. Anyway, that is all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.